Is this $65 billion power plant the future of fusion energy? Several countries are working together on this project called ATIR. The largest power plant in the world, due to a recent setback, this project has been delayed, which can also be quite expensive. Watch the whole video and find out. ATIR, which stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is a large-scale scientific experiment that aims to demonstrate the feasibility of fusion power as a sustainable energy source. The project is currently under construction and is a collaboration between 35 nations, including the United States, China, Russia, and the European Union. The goal of the project is to build a tokamak, a type of nuclear fusion reactor that will produce more energy than it consumes. ATER, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is located in the south of France, specifically in the commune of saint paul les durance near the city of Aix-en-Provence. The ATER site is located on a plateau called the Plateau de Cataract, which was chosen for its technical suitability and infrastructure. The location of the ATER site was selected after a worldwide search that evaluated more than 30 different locations. The ATER tokamak will use a mixture of two isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, as fuel. These isotopes will be heated to millions of degrees Celsius, creating a plasma that will fuse together and release a large amount of energy in the form of heat and light. The project is expected to take about 35 years to complete, with the first plasma being produced in 2025 and the first deuterium-tritium fusion expected in 2035. The Atir tokamak will be the largest of its kind, with a plasma radius of 6.2 meters and a total weight of 23,000 tons. Do you think this is an interesting video and don't want to miss anything about fusion energy? Subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you posted. Or would you like to see a video about a special topic? Let me know in the comments. The Atir site where the tokamak is located is about 60 hectares. It includes the tokamak building, where the reactor will be housed, as well as several other buildings and facilities that are needed for the operation and maintenance of the tokamak. These include facilities for the handling and storage of the fuel, buildings for research and development, as well as administrative and support facilities. In addition to the tokamak and its associated facilities, the ATER project also includes a complex network of support systems, including power supply and distribution, cryogenics, vacuum systems, heating systems and cooling systems, as well as a large number of diagnostic systems and control systems. In summary, the ATER project is a massive and complex undertaking that involves the construction of a massive experimental nuclear fusion reactor and its associated facilities and support systems. As of 2021, the estimated cost of the ATIR project is around 20 billion US dollars. The cost of the project is shared among the 35 nations that are part of the project, with the European Union, the United States, China, Russia, India, Japan, and South Korea being the main contributors. Each country has committed to provide a certain percentage of the total cost, based on the size of their economy. It's worth mentioning that the cost of the project is subject to change as it's a long-term project with several stages and can be affected by various factors such as construction delays, technical challenges, and inflation. It's important to note that the cost of the ATIR project is not only measured by the money spent, but also by the knowledge and experience gained from the project. It could also be seen as an investment for the future, as if the project is successful, it could lead to a new form of energy that could provide clean, safe, and virtually unlimited energy for future generations. The ATIR project was initiated to demonstrate the scientific and technical feasibility of nuclear fusion as a source of energy. Nuclear fusion reactions, the same process that powers the sun, releases a large amount of energy and has several advantages over other energy sources, such as being clean and sustainable. Unlike traditional nuclear power, which generates energy through nuclear fission, fusion reactions produce little to no greenhouse gas emissions and don't produce long-lived radioactive waste. The idea behind the ATIR project is to build a large-scale experimental tokamak reactor, where scientists can study the behavior of the plasma, the material state inside the fusion reactor, under conditions that are similar to those that would be found in a commercial fusion power plant. The goal of the ATIR project is to produce a self-sustaining fusion burn, where the energy produced by the fusion reactions is greater than the energy needed to heat the plasma. This would demonstrate that nuclear fusion is a viable and sustainable energy source. 
The ATIR project also aims to advance the technology and design of future fusion reactors by providing valuable data and information on the behavior of plasma, materials and the systems required to operate a reactor. In summary, the ATIR project was initiated to demonstrate the feasibility of nuclear fusion as a source of energy and to advance the technology and design of future fusion reactors. The ATIR project has been delayed for several reasons. One of the main reasons is the complexity of the project, which involves the construction of a large experimental nuclear fusion reactor. This has led to delays in the delivery of components and the integration of systems, as well as issues with the design and construction of the facility. Another reason for the delays is the involvement of multiple countries and organizations, each with their own regulations, procedures, and priorities. Coordinating the efforts of so many partners can be challenging and has led to delays in decision-making and the approval of certain aspects of the project. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic has also affected the project, leading to delays in the delivery of components and the movement of personnel. The ATIR project also announced that defects have been discovered in the thermal shields and vacuum vessel sectors, and warned that the consequences on schedule and cost will not be insignificant. ATIR said that in November 2021 helium tests detected a leak on an element of the vacuum vessel thermal shield that had been delivered in 2020. The cause was found to be stress caused by the bending and welding of the cooling fluid pipes to the thermal shield panels, compounded by a slow chemical reaction due to the presence of chlorine residues in some small areas near the pipe welds. This had caused stress corrosion cracking, Etir said, and over time, cracks up to 2.2 mm deep had developed in the pipes. The project schedule has been revised, and the first plasma is expected in 2025, and the first deuterium-tritium fusion expected in 2035, which is several years later than the original schedule. Fusion energy has the potential to be a significant source of power in the future. Nuclear fusion reactions release a large amount of energy and have several advantages over other energy sources, such as being clean and sustainable. Fusion reactions produce little to no greenhouse gas emissions and don't produce long-lived radioactive waste. Also, the fuel for fusion reactions, deuterium and tritium, are abundant and can be found in seawater and lithium. The main challenge in harnessing fusion energy is to create and maintain the conditions required for the nuclear fusion reactions to take place. These conditions include extremely high temperatures and pressures, which are difficult to achieve and maintain. The ATIR project is a major step towards demonstrating the feasibility of fusion power, and it will help scientists to further improve the technology and design of fusion reactors. However, it's important to note that commercial fusion power is still in the development phase. It's not yet a viable energy source for widespread use. The technology and infrastructure for fusion energy is still under development, and it will take time and investment to reach a point where it can be used to generate electricity for homes and businesses. The ATIR project is not only a major scientific experiment, but it also has the potential to revolutionize the way we produce energy. If successful, fusion power could provide a clean, safe, and virtually unlimited source of energy for future generations. If you want to know more about this project, take a look at the ITIR website. Thank you for watching our video about the ITIR project. We hope you found it informative and learned something new. The ITIR project is a groundbreaking experiment that has the potential to revolutionize the way we produce energy. We'll keep you updated on the progress of this project and any new developments in the field of nuclear fusion. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more informative and educational content. Your support helps us to create more videos like this one and to continue our mission of spreading knowledge and understanding. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in our next video.